this is a great day for legal gun owners, people that legally carry and conceal firearms. House passes concealed carry gun bill in win for GOP and NRA. Now, of course, the Democrats are upset and you have a few Republicans that's upset, okay? Uh, because they don't want American citizens to be able to defend themselves and their families. If you notice, the criminals have more rights than legal gun owners have. No one is going after criminals with illegal guns. No one is trying to trump up the charges for people that illegally possess and use firearms. No one is doing that. They're focusing on legal gun owners. And one thing that drives me insane is the fact that they're using mass shootings that have nothing to do with us to try to give reasons on why we should not have firearms. Now, I'm going to read a portion of this, and then I'm going to put the link on the bottom, and you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, I'm hoping that this becomes law. I'm hoping it becomes law because being a photographer, being a business owner, uh, there's times that I may go into Pennsylvania from New York, or I may go into Jersey, or I may go into any other state, and I'm not allowed to carry my firearm with me, okay? Now, you have the southern states, the commonwealth states that's able to go from state to state. There's certain states to do that, but New York State um, has a very strict gun law here, okay, that's really tying our hands, man, to defend ourselves, okay, but yet they're allowing the criminals to have free reign, they're allowing the criminals to possess illegal firearms, they're allowing the criminals to kill each other. Why? Because it's big business, because either they're going to send someone to prison, or like I hear so many people talk on the internet, about organ donating, you know, donating. Okay, so they're donating organs, they're locking people up. The funeral business is big business, especially within the black community. So they are allowing these things to continue happening. Nobody's going after illegal gun owners, but they're going after those that went through the process to become legal to carry a firearm. Now, I'm going to read a portion of this. I want you guys to pay attention to this language because the only people that's really going to be deceived are the people that are Hillary Clinton supporters, Barack Obama supporters, and people who's ignorant about firearms because all they have to do is throw around a couple of words that you really don't understand that they even themselves don't understand. And you guys are saying like, wait, we got to get these guns off the street. But legal guns are not taking the lives of black people or anybody else. Now, you may have one or two persons that um, may have attained firearms when they weren't supposed to have them and they committed mass shootings. But again, that has nothing to do with me, nor any other uh, legal gun owner. OK, now it says the House passed legislation to permit concealed carry license holders to conceal a handgun in other states. The first time Congress has taken action on a gun bill since President Donald Trump was sworn into office. It says the Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act, a top priority for the National Rifle Association, and other gun right groups have passed 231 to 198. Six House Democrats crossed the aisles and voted for the measure, while 14 Republicans opposed it. Now, this is what I want you guys to listen to. S Senate Democrats have strongly opposed to the bill, arguing 
it would override individual states' efforts to control who can carry concealed weapons inside their borders and create what is in essence a national gun license. Now, there's nothing wrong with a national gun license. Now, I'm going to get back to that border thing. They're saying, they're not saying that anyone could just come into Times Square because then they start throwing different crazy scenarios, you know. Also, oh, you're giving criminals the option. Check out the language they use. You're giving criminals the option to come over into New York Times Square and do this and do that and do that. No, that's not what they're saying. They're saying legal gun owners. And when those legal gun owners cross over into another state, those legal gun owners have to abide by the laws of that state. So anyone who comes over into New York State from another state have to abide by the laws in New York State when it comes to carrying and concealing. Okay, they have to abide by the laws. Okay, they're not just saying any criminal could go from state to state with a firearm. They're not saying that. Okay. And then if you notice, they're going to start talking about, you know, uh, other types of firearms that this has nothing to do with. Okay. So, but I want to pay close attention to um, the borders. It says Senate Democrats are strongly opposed to the bill, arguing it would override individual states' effort to control who can carry concealed weapons inside their borders. Now, now you're so concerned about borders, but I thought the Democrats wanted open borders. Weren't you guys the same ones that were protesting, saying, let the terrorists in? Let undocumented immigrants in? So they have a history of supporting illegal people, undocumented immigrants, illegal firearms in the hands of criminals. They're not going after them. They're going after the legal people. So while you guys are out there saying, let them in, let them in, you are in favor of open borders. Now you're concerned about who's coming inside the borders of your states. So this falls right in line of your open borders. You guys wanted open borders. So why complain now? Why are you complaining now about your borders? Why are you so concerned now about borders? When before, when Trump was trying to keep illegal immigrants from coming over the border, you guys had an issue with that and said that he was discriminating, that he was racist. So now what do you call yourselves that want to keep legal citizens, taxpayers, from going over the borders into another state in the country in which they were born. See, so now you're concerned about borders, right? So I'm going to read a little bit more and then I'm going to put the ad on the bottom. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. One part I saw down here, we was talking about, uh, where is it at? It started talking about, okay, here we go. Congress has failed the American people said former Representative Gabby Giffords, a Democrat, a Democrat in Arizona, who was severely wounded in 2011 mass shooting. Okay, keep in mind, it wasn't by me. It wasn't by no other legal gun owner. It was one individual person or whoever was responsible for this shooting, okay, who was severely wounded in 2011 mass shooting that left six people dead after two of our nation's worst mass shootings congress took direct instruction from the gun lobby to pass a bill that will override existing state laws and allow dangerous untrained people to carry guns in every state and in every city that is fake news because they're talking about legal gun owners. They said nothing about passing a bill that would override existing state laws to allow dangerous, untrained people. Now, in order for people to 
obtain their carrying concealed permit, they have to be trained. They have to pay money to receive training, gun safety courses. They have to take courses in order to get their pistol permit. They just can't go in and say, I want a pistol permit. You have to take courses. You have to be trained to fire a firearm. You have to take safety courses. So you are trained, not like I was trained in the military, or maybe not like law enforcement was trained, but you are trained. Okay, so for her to say that it allows dangerous, untrained people to carry guns in every state and in every city. And it says, let's be clear, these politicians are trading our safety for political contributions from the gun lobby. Okay, what about the politicians trading our safety to allow illegal aliens or illegal immigrants to come into this country, not saying that they are all terrorists, but saying that there are terrorists that's among them that's sneaking into this country to do the things they did like what happened with 9-11. A whole lot more people were lost in 9-11 than these so-called mass shootings. That was horrific that happened on 9-11 in New York City. I was supposed to be there, but I overslept. I was one of the people that overslept. I had a job interview at Blue Cross Blue Shield in the Trade Center, and I overslept. I didn't make that because of the fact that by the grace of the Most High, I overslept, okay? But it was horrific. People were falling were on fire, they were trying to escape the torments. And here it is, you putting this over what happened in 9-11 and you still wanted illegal immigrants from those countries that the terrorists came from to come over this border illegally and to allow taxpayers dollars to support them. See, that's what you wanted, but now you're concerned about borders and you're concerned about dangerous untrained people to carry guns in every state and you're concerned about politicians trading our safety for political contributions what do you think hillary clinton and barack obama did we've had more terrorist acts since barack obama and hillary clinton has been in the white house since i don't know when Okay, so it's hypocritical, and of course, I call them demon crafts because they have their own agenda, and their agenda is not for the people, it's for themselves. Okay, so I'm going to put this link on the bottom. You guys feedback and tell me what you think, but I think this is great, and I'm hoping that this becomes law. I'm hoping it becomes law, because so far, man, the killings, the majority of the killings that were taking place in this country, in this nation, were by illegal guns and people that weren't supposed to have them. Okay, so, but to be able to have a nationwide permit to be able to go in any state with my firearm, that will be great. Okay, so then I don't have to be unarmed. I don't have to unarm myself or try to get a permit in another state just to go into that state. Okay, I can go there prepared to defend myself and my family. Just like the criminals have rights to defend themselves. They have more rights than veterans have. And that's crazy. Criminals have more rights than veterans that have a, a, a license to carry and conceal. That's sad. Simply because of the fact that illegal guns and criminals is big business here in this country. I'm gonna repeat that. Criminals and illegal guns are big business in this country. Prison system, when it comes to medical staff, when it comes to funeral homes, when it comes to donating or selling body parts, organ donating, donating, okay? So it's big business. That's why they are allowing 
uh, murderous criminal acts to take place in the country. And that's why they're coming after legal gun owners so that if we're unarmed, then that's making more profit for them because now we're vulnerable. Our house will be burglarized and we possibly killed. And we have no way to defend ourselves unless, of course, we become illegal to defend ourselves. Again, making them more money is big business. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. If you like what this video, if you like the topic or the subject of this video, click on the PayPal link, uh, link and financially support this channel. Until next time, mood D control. I'm fearless.